I cannot believe that they actually gave us one of the most hard hitting four stars in the game for free. Mihoyo, you're too generous, man. All right, it's actually been so long that I actually done my Beidou build originally that I'm I'm basically redoing the complete intro and stuff. So yeah, there's that. So Beidou build, I'm finally getting around to it. Finally, finally getting around to it. She's a beast. I can't believe that Mihoyo actually gave us a Beidou completely free. I, I'm still shocked. If you didn't get yourself a Beidou, you're holding it. Oh, I'm telling you now, you are holding a fat L because Beidou is one of the greatest four stars in the game and that's not me just saying it for for giggles or saying it to over exaggerate of all the four stars main dps capability beidou is up there let's see razor's decent i still think beidou is better dangling is very good support it can be main dps if you would her with like a physical build Ishu can be main dps if you see sixer benek i don't know why you would but you can main dps him no one can be main dps uh shincho is a great sub dps not main dps yeah beidou is the best four star dps i can put that in my title now yep official it's official she's the best four star main dps in the game but she can also be played as a burst dps which i actually sometimes do or burst uh sub dps or burst support however you want to play it you can use it okay let's get into beidou's build first of all let's get into my build for beidou so my beidou is at 2000 attack with 15% crit rate and 167% crit damage i know crit rate needs to go up 155% energy recharge and 65 almost percent electro damage bonus weapon i use skyward pride on her because basically her best in slot is a five star plus energy recharge boost artifacts i am running her on a four piece glad she is only at c5 unfortunately not c6 yet and talents are 7 10 10 and she is c5 so let's go over what you guys need right so if we're going to weapons first and foremost best in slots are obviously going to be any of the five stars her best five star easily scoured pride because you need that energy recharge because her burst cost is so bloody high so scoured pride is best in slot any other five star is very close second we're going to go four stars we'll start off with the free to play and then like semi free to plays so complete free to play right type archaic go for it attack boost perfect semi free to play is the serpent spine if you need the crit rate which you get from the battle pass and then there's the black cliff slasher which increases crit damage which you get from the shop every other month that's why they're semi free to play and then just regular free to play for bonus great sword again is similar to the scoured pride in that it gives you energy recharge and every time you crit you can generate particles and then as for a free star option if you're early on in the game the bait club is pretty much your only real shot because it increases attack and the others are kind of crap i'm being honest so yeah the bait club if you're early on in the game as for artifacts there's a few ways of doing this i'm going with gladiators four piece because i just feel like it's giving me the best with the attack boost of 18 percent and then does 35 percent more normal attack damage because she's a uh, more user so this is better for a main dps build if you want to go for a sub dps slash a burst dps or even a burst support your better option would be to go with a two-piece noblesse oblige followed by either a two-piece glad or a two-piece thundering fury so thundering fury one will give you electro damage bonus along with the burst bonus or the glad two piece would give you 18 percent attack increase just overall with the burst damage increase so i think a better build for her would be two piece noblesse with a two piece thundering fury that's probably that's what i suggest to be the best option for her another way of doing her would actually be thunder Siva because the four piece makes it so you do 35 percent more damage to people affected by electro but i just don't like thunder Siva because the two piece is kind of useless on most characters i'll probably have footage on screen left will be four piece glad and right will be two piece thundering with two piece noblesse let me know what you guys think okay which one do you think is better on her looking at these numbers i personally think it is the four piece gladiators but only by a margin i'll be honest let me know in the comments what you guys think which one do you think is better or from your experience which one do you think is better because i'm interested to know what you guys think okay so those are basically the sets that you'd want obviously stats are going to be hp and attack on the flower and the feather then you want attack percentage on your sands electro damage on your gobbler and then crit rate or crit damage depending on what you need on your circlet then for substats obviously standard crit rate crit damage uh, attack percentage plus she can actually really use the energy recharge because it's so high so yeah get some energy recharge on her yo great 
then obviously all of her constellations are here c1 gives you a little shield whenever you use your burst c2 makes it so your burst can affect further enemies or more enemies c3 and c5 obviously increase the talents c4 makes it so your normal attack can do electro damage whenever you get hit and c6 reduces electro resistance of enemies around you by 15 percent so not bad not bad as for talents i think for me this is what i suggest it doesn't matter which build you go for raise her elemental skill first the tide cooler raise that first then the burst and then the normal attack she can get so much damage from her elemental skill and then that can lead into her elemental burst which does so much more damage than home normal attack normal attack you obviously don't care about if you're focusing on a sub dps or burst dps or anything like that but even if you are making a main dps i still think well elemental skill elemental burst and then normal attack that's me personally you can do whatever you want but that's what i would suggest going with and that's basically the build i thought i don't think i missed anything and if we go over to team comps you have two team comps if you got a main dps then obviously you i think you do need a you definitely need a fisher if you got main dps because fisher will basically be her battery so that you can get her all up quicker jincho also really works really well with his burst because you will do electro charged all the time and then obviously you can have a benet uh any other support basically uh jongli venti whoever but if you're going a burst dps a sub dps or a burst support if you have a tartalia use him with Beido because oh my god it is stupidly stupidly good use her burst then switch to tartalia and use his elemental skill and just shred everything it's basically shincho and beido but on steroids it's nuts and then obviously you can use whoever you want uh official isn't necessarily required for this team i pretty much run this team with like two other characters that weren't official so yeah it's 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 nuts it's nuts but those are basically your two options if you have a tartalia use him like i said but if you got main dps beido then you need that official and shincho would really help but you don't really need a shincho but i do think shincho's burst is like one of the best support bursts in the game so that's why I think Shincho with a Beidou would really work incredibly for main DPS Beidou. And that's pretty much it. I know, I don't know why I took so long on this, but I did. My bad. I'm sorry if anyone was waiting. <laughs> yeah. I do have a video coming up talking about a big problem with version 2.1 of uh, Genshin Impact. So, you know, subscribe for that. And turn on bell notification because you do not want to miss it because it's, um, it's basically just me going on a run. But yeah, if this video helped you out, smash the thumbs up. If you want to see any more build videos, click on the top right. I'll have a playlist pop up come out right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.